believe the island's National Marine Reserve in the Andaman Sea is well known for the leopard sharks that live there. And for this episode of Wild Oceans, I've gone to a place called Hinbida. It's very well known for having a good healthy leopard shark population. And the behaviour that you're seeing now from these two leopard sharks is indicative of mating. When the female is ready to mate, she swims in a very slow, lazy style. The female is the one in the lead. And the male will swim very closely behind and often nibble or hold onto the tail of the female. It's very lucky to come across this and what makes it even more impressive is just how shallow they were. You can see just how relaxed the pair of them are and this can continue for one or two hours and then eventually the female will come to rest somewhere on the bottom uh, and then joined by the male. I've only been lucky enough to film this two or three times and this is by far the best example I have. Later on in the same dive I came across a cuttlefish laying eggs which is something uh, equally rare to come across and you can't see but out of shot there is the male standing guard. Whenever you come across a female cuttlefish laying eggs there is always the male somewhere nearby and you can see she's just depositing the eggs deep up inside that crevice. Unfortunately I couldn't get a shot of the actual eggs because they were just too far up in the dark there and this particular cuttlefish is simply called a common cuttlefish here in Thailand. And it's not just about the big things, if you look closely in all the sea fans or in amongst the soft coral and you persevere, eventually you will find one of these. It's a tiger tail seahorse and they're very difficult to film. This is a lucky shot. He's really nicely out in the open for me. And they're called a tiger tail seahorse because they always have a striped pattern on their tail. Not that you can see that in this shot. And the last thing I came across on this dive is something a little interesting. I'm afraid I can't tell you exactly what he's doing. He's a giant puffer fish. I'm not sure if he's displaying some kind of threatening behavior towards me or if he's just got a little bit of indigestion. 